Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm into it. What's good? Today, we're gonna be checking out a bunch of videos. This is Finally Friday, where we go back and check out a bunch of videos that we should have checked out. This edition is a bit different since there are some new ones in here, but because a few of them are first time reactions, I wanted to do a bit of a compilation video and get your guys' input on what you guys want to see next. So if you like any of these groups in this video, um, you do as a solo artist, but whatever. If you want to see the dance practice for it, please let me know in the comments below and then I will get to it as soon as possible. And of course, if I just really enjoy it, I might just get to it anyways. But I figured this kind of format would be the best way to introduce myself to some new groups as well. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean. I'm an actor and dancer trained in choreography and freestyle, but also I just love K-pop, so hopefully I can give you a fresh perspective on these MVs. I'll be putting out some dance things in this one, but of course, if you want a full dance analysis, I will have to do a dance practice reaction for that. So like I said, put, the, put it in the comments below if you guys want to see that. If you want to go the extra mile and support the channel, if you really like what I do here, we have a Patreon in the description below where you can go and check out some bonus exclusive content and also put in your requests for future videos. With all that said guys, let's get into the video. We'll be checking out 5050, Pixie, Yuju, Cherry Bullet, Triple S, and Signature. Four of which are going to be first time reactions. Pixie and Yuju, of course, we are familiar with. I do plan on doing a full Pixie tribute. So, stay tuned for that, subscribe, put the bell notifications on so you don't miss a video. Let's get into it guys, this will be a long video, but I'm very excited to check out some new groups and to, just to catch up on some stuff. We'll start off with 5050. I believe this is their debut, it's the first single album, so congrats to 5050 for the debut. I don't know what to expect with the sound, I think I've heard snippets of it actually, but overall I don't know what their, their style is going to be. So let's get into it guys, 3, 2, 1. So full. Oh yeah. Her voice is great. Let's just the 4K really quick, my bad. Let's start it again. I really like the, the tone of this. Yeah, it's giving me like 50s vibes? They all have unique sounds. Ooh. Cute. This is a great production. We got tarot cards going on. Floating in daydreams. Oh! I like the stacking of the vocals. Oh, cool fits here. Oh, I like that. That's a good verse. I didn't know if there was gonna be rap in this. We got some dancers in the back too. So dumb. Oh, 
Outro? Oh, we just ended there, okay. Great. Oh, we got some endings too. Oh, we're just watching it on TV, like watching like rom-coms and wishing that we had that love. Is that what's going on? Wow. Great debut. I love the sound. The production team went hard on this one. I really like the style. I honestly feel like I haven't heard anything like this in K-pop, I gotta say. Um, and I also think that I like the ending too, where the, the key changes. There's lots of unexpected things here, which I really enjoyed. Um, first off, the rap verse came out of nowhere for me because I, I, didn't, I didn't look up the profiles before, so I didn't know if there was going to be any rap in this. Um, I thought it was a perfect segue to the bridge, of course, and then the key change. Uh, I like how they're talking about like a second chance with love, and then it's almost like this second chance is um, shown through the key change. Like, here's the second chance, you know what I mean? So yeah, I really like this. Actually, I do want to look into this group. Um, so let's look up the profiles really quick and see what they're all about. Thanks for recommending this one, uh, you guys. Uh, I saw your comments. Four member girl group under Attract. So this seems like it's going to be a uh, small company, but I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know if they, uh, if, they, if they have any other groups. Honey is the fandom name. Okay, great. They debuted on November 18th, 2022. So did they debut and maybe have like a pre-release or what's what's the deal with that? Let me know. Above and reality, 50-50. So we got Sena, who's a Pisces like me. Is She's the leader and the main dancer, also a sub rapper. Okay, multi-talented queen, let's go. 2004, uh, we got Kina, who is the main rapper. I, I remember her verse very clearly. 2002, sub vocalist as well. We got Sio, Sio or no, it's Sio, Sio, who is a main vocalist lead dancer, 2004, and we got Aran. Interesting, their stage names are a lot different than their uh, birth names. Lead vocalist, lead rapper, and the maknae, 2004. Okay, so we got 2004 and 2002, it looks like. So everybody's 2004 except for uh, Kina. Yeah, guys, I, I really enjoyed that, honestly. So shout out to the girls. Uh, show some love on this really, uh, original video because I believe it might be a smaller company. Only 5 million views. I want to get that way higher, guys. Uh, this is a great song. We even have a pre-release to check out. So yeah, definitely, definitely we'll have to check that out. All right. Let's move on. We got Pixie. Now, I have been seeing Pixie recommendations in my comments for a while. And of course, I've kind of had like a year where I've just been not being able to react to a lot of stuff. And of course, I do have to stick with like the groups that I've already, you know, built up a relationship with. And of course, Pixie, we've only checked out the one video, which was Wings. If you guys want to check that out, I do have the playlist above my head here. But I have been wanting to check out Pixie for the longest time. Don't get me wrong. This is Karma. Check out the MV. The dance practice we'll have to check out, but uh, I do plan on doing a deep dive into them as well because there are a few things we have to check out. So let's get into it. Three, two, one. I think they're a really cool conceptual group. Excuse me? Ooh. Okay. Loving the style already. Kinda got like this hip hop beat. Some cowbells that I hear? Cool effects here. This sound! Oh, this is an earworm, bro. I'm into it. We got a sax going? What's going on? Oh. Oh, 
Oh, it's just such a nice swing to this. We got vocals. Ooh. Oh, and now it comes in. Okay. Who is this? Who is this? For science. Oh, beautiful shots here. You better sing. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> Karma is a bitch. Another switch up. Wow. Pants is like a sec too. I'm watching my back. Fourth mini album. Oh my goodness, you guys. If Pixie's got more songs like this, I mean, it's over, bro. Like, I have another group I gotta add to my list because last thing I checked out was Wings, and Wings was great. Wings was great, but I was... I feel like they've grown a lot since then, man. This is, production-wise, uh, a phenomenal song. Their vocals were, were highlighted nicely in this, but just their style in general, I think, is so unique and so cool. The switch-up of styles was also very seamless, man. I think the, the beat was great, and everything felt cohesive which is tricky with like a lot of style changes like they did. The outfitting was great. Um, I'm into it, man. Yeah, let me know that you guys want to see some more Pixie because I want to see more Pixie. Let's get into the next one. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan. All right, Signature, Aurora. Seen some recommendations for Signature as well. And uh, I think still a lower key group, 10 million views. This is, um yeah, this is, I believe, the same as What's their company? Is it FNC? No, it's C9, which is the same as CIX, I believe. I think. Okay, let's get into it. This is my first time checking out Signature. Should I check out the profiles? Let's just check out the profiles really quick. Seven member girl group under J9, which is a subsidiary subsidiary of uh, C9. Okay. Chaseol, 1998. Lead vocalist visual. Okay. Then we got Jiwon, who is the lead vocalist center and face of the group. Okay. 1999. Celine. Uh, 2000, and uh, she's a rapper vocalist. We got Yun Ji Wan, 2001 vocalist. We got Belle, who is a main vocalist, lead dancer, talented queen. Okay, and she's 2001. Like all in this range here. Uh, Semi is a main vocalist, dancer. Do He, 2002 dancer, rapper, vocalist, and the Magne. Our Magne is 2002. I think they have been around for a bit, so I guess that does make sense. When did they debut? 2020, actually. So not too long. Uh, February 3rd, so let's get into Aurora, 3, 2, 1. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to check out more Signature. Uh, especially if you want me to check out a dance practice for this one. This is the face of the group. I already forgot all the names, but that's okay. <laughs> Cute. I always like the white bars. It's a nice stylistic choice. Mmm, that chromaticism there. Ooh. Oh, this is still pre-chorus? Here we go. Wow. The energy. Oh, her hair is really pretty color. I like that. Ooh. 
Their vocals are good. Oh, not yet. Ooh, this halftime feel. I like this. I like this like a lot, actually. I like this. I like this. extended bridge here okay wow I think this song really develops well You know, that's great. I didn't know if I was gonna like it in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie. Like, just the, the first verse, I think it starts out um, very, like, cute, very very chill. Um, and then the way it develops, I think, is incredible. I think the pre-chorus, that kind of almost sounds like a chorus. Like, I was like, oh, okay, is this gonna be the chorus? It doesn't seem like it progresses that much. And then we get the hook, and then we get the, the, the post-chorus as well. I think it develops really nicely. That bridge was incredible. I thought the vocals and everything near the end were just stunning and like the, the belting, wow, really good. Um, and I like the colors and everything. Um, yeah, I'm a fan. If you guys want me to check out more Signature, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. All right, let's get into the next one. That's gonna be Triple S Rising. Now, um, I've, I'm in Korea right now, so I've seen them advertised all around Korea. So I'm excited for this one because I feel like, I feel like there is some expectations coming into this. So. They, uh, let's check out these, yeah, 16 million views already, and I shouldn't say already, it has been a month, but I, I have heard a lot about this group. Let's just quickly get into this. Now, they were called something else or something before, I believe. All right. Oh, this is interesting. Triple S is an upcoming 24-member fan participation girl group under Mod ha Mod Hobbs? This girl group plans to combine the worlds of NFT and K-pop. So it'll rotate, kind of like, I guess how like NCT kind of rotates, but it's chosen by the fans. Interesting. I can see why this would, would uh, be a very popular concept. Their subunits are Acid Angel from Asia, which is what I was talking about. I thought they had a different group. Crystal Eyes will debut in the future, but right now we have Triple S. Interesting. So what are we what are we watching right now? <laughs> guys, let me know everything about this group. I'd love to hear about their concept more. And if you guys want me to check out like a full guide, I feel like this would be definitely warranted. Um, so this came out February 10th. I am a bit late to it. Rising, three, two, one. Interesting. I like when, okay, they're all in hoods. They're looking, they're looking cool. That's cool. Mm. Oh, that's gonna stay in your your brain. Ooh. 
I love this chorus already. Oh, here we go. A little bit of crump there. Oh, this sports course is so nice. I like all like the black jackets and everything. This is a cool visual. Oh, she's cool. Oh, she's cool. Her flow is great. <laughs> Convenience store. <laughs> she dropped her pizza. Right on the drop of the music. This is great. Oh, are we gonna hit that postcard or are we gonna go to the bridge? Yes! Scene's gorgeous. And we watched the sunrise. <laughs> and now we're all on the bus again. Cool. The idol of all possibilities. This is a really cool concept, I gotta say. Um, Song-wise, you, you guys already know, like, you saw me vibing. I'm, I'm a fan. I love the chorus especially. The rap verse in that second, wow, really good. Yeah, so I guess, like, the concept in this video uh, would be talking about, like, how they're dreaming of, like, this um, rising popularity, this, ri this rising sun, um, and, like, you know, all their possibilities and all their potential, and, yeah, I can definitely see it. I think it's cool that the fans get to, to pick. What do you guys think about the concept? Of course, it's it's unique. Um, it, it obviously, it doesn't come out without criticism. I'm sure, like, you know, there's some people who are like, well, I want to see this person. But I think it's, it's interesting how the fans choose. And I'm very curious to see where their future lies. So we'll have to be following their journey. Guys, the dance practice, we're going to need to check out. So I need your, your help in the comments below. Let me know you're here for it. And I'll get to it as soon as possible. All right, next one. Yuju. My girl Yuju, without you. I think I missed her last comeback, um, but when I can do it in these kind of videos, it makes a bit more sense. You guys know how I feel about Yuju. She is the queen. Uh, queen vocal. Yes, I I love Yuju. Okay, let's just get into it. Three, two, one. If you don't already know, check out the playlist, our G Friend playlist. And of course, we did check out her debut. Oh, no captions, that's fine. I think it was the same with play. Interesting, she drew a piano over all the sheet music. Not okay. No. Oh, she faded away. She looks really good with the guitar. 
I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's shot really cool. Oh, I like her shoes. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that harmony. Ooh. Oh, I got chills. Uh, glad I got to check that out. Oh my goodness. Uh, we need to check out the lyrics, actually. Um, I thought that was a really pretty song. Really, really pretty song. With a, less, with a slightly lighter heart, I unconsciously stepped out onto the street with loud music and voices, sharing my backlog of worries and thoughts, and even offering some funny words of comfort. As if I had cleanly brushed them off, I found myself naturally smiling. I'm not okay. I've lost my way. I'm still me. Even if I try to turn away from you, nothing's ever going to be the same. I remember the day I first heard this song inside a small room, realizing that there were still things I wanted to say, that I had kept deep inside my heart and staying up all night with that realization. Amid countless days that have passed, I still think about it uh, from time to time. Even if I put it away deep down, I know that I will take it out again. I want you to know, even if you get used to it, it won't be the same. Nothing's ever going to be the same. Wow. That is, uh, that's a sad song, for sure. Definitely tugged on the heartstrings. Um, I thought it was really well done, like visually. I thought it told the story exactly how uh, she intended it to. Um, I thought it was really pretty, like with the visual imagery of the, the guitar um, breaking with the kind of like the fireflies fl flying into the sky. Um, it's like trying to catch that spark again or trying to catch that light again um, and just being reminded of all the things that she has been through. And of course, you know, her being a solo artist now, uh, it's a big change for her, I'm sure. And uh, not to be parasocial with it or anything, but uh, from what I gather with the lyrics and everything, it seems like it's not gonna be the same as uh, her early years, um, you know, with G-Friend, I'm assuming that's what we're referring to, but I don't want to misinterpret it, but it does seem like we could be talking about that. It's hard not to draw those comparisons, right? So, but I would love to hear her, uh, her tell her um, interpretation of it. So if you guys have that, let me know in the comments below what she was, where she was going uh, with this, but well, that was a really pretty song. Glad I got to check it out. Let's get into the next one, which is Cherry Bullet. My first time checking out Cherry Bullets. They have been around for a bit, and um, I would say a long time coming. So let's get into this. K Profiles, give me the juice. Now, I think I know one of the members. Okay, Heyoon, sounds familiar. She might have been, okay, so I, yeah, she was on Produce 48. Okay, so I, that's, that's why I would remember her. And then there was another one, I think her name was Judy. Uh, so 1996, main vocalist. Yuju, we got another Yuju. 
1997, wow, only 14 days older than me. Another Pisces, lead vocals rapper, visual. Bora is the main vocalist, 1990, another Pisces. Shout out to the Pisces out there. Let's go. G1, I believe, was also maybe on, maybe not on Produce 48. Just kidding, she was on Girls Planet 999. Yes, okay, okay. I watched Girls Planet 999999. Go check out on Patreon if you guys want to check it out. Remy, who is a main dancer, vocalist. Right, yeah, yeah. And now I remember Girls Planet had a couple of people on there. We got Tedin, who is a main dancer, vocalist. And we got May. 2004 Magne. Wow, so if they've been around for a while then oh, we got a few uh, former members as well I thought her name was okay. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Anyways, they're with FNC. They have seven members right now They debuted on to in 2019. So four years ago All right, let's get into it. This is called POW play on the world, but also sounds like pow So I'm assuming it's gonna pack a punch. Let's get into it. Three two one She's she's wondering. She's she's like, what should I do with this? Oh, she's smashing it. This dirty beat. This is a really pretty background. Oh, we're floating now. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Wow. This girl is great. Well, the beatbox. <laughs> Playground, I like that. I also, they also said they like that. Oh, I can't get over this pre-chorus, bro. Dang, okay, elegant. Visuals on visuals. Oh, I love the way it like pans. It sounds so good. I romp around. <laughs> nice, they all look at the side. Oh, nope. I thought they were gonna go back. You better sing. Okay, I need to know her name too. Is this. Okay, I'm not gonna guess. It's too early. She's going off. Okay, model. I need another name. Uh, <laughs> who are those three people that I mentioned, please? That was great. Oh, that was great. Uh, I like that song. I think the theme of today is I don't know if I'm gonna like it in the beginning. It's you. I think I think K-pop is really <laughs> turned into a let's go hard in the beginning and really like you don't really know where it's gonna go, because I swear when once that pre-chorus hit and we get this like relief. 
it's like, oh, I can appreciate that first section more now. And then you get into the chorus, which is that siren, woo woo woo, super catchy. And of course we get the, the post chorus, which is very bombastic. Is that a, the correct word for it? It's very like um, anthem -y. I think we get a lot of colors with this one. And I like the styling. And I like, yes, the visuals, obviously. Let me know if you guys wanna check out more Cherry Bullet on this channel. I would love to check out some dance practices, but uh, yeah, definitely need those names. But of course, just give me all the names, honestly, because I would like to learn about this group if you guys are interested. So that is the video for today. Did you guys have fun? I had so much fun today. Girl groups and just so female artists in general are just killing the game right now. You can't deny that. They are just killing it. Everything I checked out today, I enjoyed. Um, I'm, I'm a fan and I need to check out more. So. Let me know who you want to see in the next, finally, Friday, of course. We'll be doing a uh, male, male, male group uh, edition, male group and solo uh, edition next week. Next week, I think next session, honestly, and because we do need to catch up on a lot of stuff. I'm going to be checking out mostly everything from 2023, I think, in the next few sessions. And then, so... Put in the comments below if you guys want me to check out anything that I missed in 2022, I would love to hear it. But mainly uh, tell me about these groups and who you want to see the most because I have to check out dance practices for most of these. So, okay, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. This has been Finally Friday. My name is Sean. Like, subscribe, comment, Patreon in the description below. Go check out the original videos as well. I think a lot of these groups were pretty underrated, so I do support that. Okay, have a good one. Peace.